I hope y'all enjoy y'all weekend. Take a long road trip back to where I reside. And I'm going to probably get my Uber on before I get to the house. But anyway, I've said this before in many other videos, but I'm going to say this it's in my title. Arrow Spence is an industry boxer. Arrow Spence is an industry boxer. Why do you say that? The brand too real for TV. Well, because of who he's connected to. Because of who protects him. The machine and the powers that be that have kept certain things quiet about Arrow. I've already talked about some things in the past in regards to him and how it's in, amazed me how he's never been questioned by the law, law enforcement about anything in regards to him. But I'm not focused on that right now. I respect him as a man. I like the fact that he has a, a wife. He has three kids, I believe, two girls and a boy. You know, he has a ranch. And he's doing better with his life. He's being a little more responsible. I'm still, I'm still a little disappointed in the people who he is connected to. But, <clears throat> like Yellow Beezy. <clears throat> Yellow Beezy. Yeah, that guy. I don't like the fact that he's still connected to Yellow Beezy. I think he needs to disconnect from anybody in the industry. It's amazing to me how Jerry Jones is very connected to Earl Spence. Jerry Jones is, is the person who convinced me that Earl Spence is the prodigal son of boxing. Because the industry chose Earl Spence. The people didn't choose Earl Spence. The industry, the machine. There's a speed trap ahead. The industry chose this man. The people, the world, the universe chose Bud Crawford. Destiny and justice was on the side of Bud Crawford. But little did people know what was going to happen. This is why there were so many people who were so convinced that Errol was really the big fish. There were so many people convinced that Errol Spence was going to obliterate and destroy Bud Crawford. There's no way. He lied in the ass. He on the wrong side of the street. We smoking on Bud. Well, apparently, Bud smoked y'all. Now, he didn't just smoke Arrow. He didn't, he didn't just smoke Derrick James goofy ass. He smoked the world. Bud, Bud, Bud might as well come out with a new strand, bruh. That Crawford Kush or some shit. That Crawford Kush. That's gonna be the new strand, that Crawford Kush, because y'all played yourself. Y'all thought y'all really had it made. I wonder how much money was lost between all of you dudes that bet on Errol Spence. Because there was a lot of money lost. Even when Vegas and the uh experts, you know, I'm about as far as like the voting odds, like Certain people saw the skill set of, Errol, uh, of Bud Crawford compared to Earl Spence. And just it just seemed like Bud, we could see how Bud was getting better and better. And he was leveling up per fight. For So if he had a more of a better threat to him, and it was an opponent where the world was predicting that he was going to lose to, he will level up. And then he will destroy that person to where it's like, damn. But I've been watching him since when he fought Gamboa. I said, yeah, this dude's special. He just had that dog in him, that it factor in him. And I'm not gonna ever underestimate that in anybody. Especially when he can when you consistently show it over and over and over again, that's when you gotta kind of respect it. Like, yeah, this nigga, he's, he's him. Bud is him. So Bud, Bud Crawford go, he gonna come out with that Crawford cushion on y'all. Because Errol got got smoked. Ain't no more smoke. Errol said he want all the smoke, ain't no more now. Bud is all of the smoke. This is why his nickname is Bud. See how the spirit worked? Before this was even in a play, he was named Bud when he was a kid. Not knowing. <laughs> he was going to be the Bud.
bud and everybody gonna smoke or have to smoke you gotta smoke on that bud now because bud got the whole world talking about him don't they when the whole world was hating on him and the whole world was trying to glorify and uplift Errol Spence the industry boxer little did they know Bud Crawford Terrence Bud Crawford was the real chosen one the last dragon dog y'all ever seen the last dragon Bud Crawford is Leroy he got the glow you heard it you see he tapped in he was what was he playing warming up to the Errol Spence fight the music when he was in the back in the training room getting warmed up hitting the mitts the last dragon was playing because he already locked in Errol's not locked in he's a kid in the mind Bud ain't playing out here Bud knows he has a purpose Bud knows that he has a journey and a destiny and a standard to set on this planet while he is here while all of y'all are playing games and scamming people y'all a bunch of scammers and opportunists. I've been saying this from day one. All these big bloggers been hearing that from me uh, uh, for a lot of years now. It's a lot of opportunists out here. And all of you opportuni opportunists are being exposed. Y'all getting exposed. And those of us, we sitting back, we smiling, we laughing. Because we know we get the last laugh in the end. Violence, hate, and negativity does not last long it's not gonna uh, it's not gonna um, be prosperous for a long period of time but at the end of the day the truth prevails I respect the fact that Errol Spence manned up I respect the fact that Errol Spence didn't make no excuses for how he lost and why he lost the Errol Spence fan boards are the ones that's making all the excuses for their industry boxer. But y'all gonna have to cut it out. Cut it out because y'all been y'all looking real bad. Y'all look like the weak, immature, lame ass men who are making things hard, harder for uh, good, respectable men. But a lot of Two PBC people got humbled over the weekend. Jamal Charlo, he ain't gonna be bumming his gums no more. And Errol Spence, he ain't the big fish no more. Over and out.